trial field with maize near to Braunschweig in summer 2010. For genetically modified maize, how can the spread of the newly transferred genes to conventional maize be prevented? A research group from the Julius Kuhn Institute in Braunschweig is here looking for ways to do so. They're conducting research on maize plants with a specific characteristic. These plants are male sterile, which is to say that they produce no pollen that is capable of fertilization. This is known as cytoplasmic male sterility, or CMS for short, and is a characteristic that occurs naturally in maize. The researchers are using the field trials to find out whether CMS is really a secure method for maize towards the prevention of cross-pollination. Such methods are known as confinement methods. Climatic conditions such as heat, drought, or intense rain may suspend cytoplasmic male sterility in maize plants. However, a prerequisite for the application of this confinement method is the high stability of the characteristic. Here is the male inflorescence of conventional maize. The many dangling pollen sacs are clearly recognizable and contain quantities of pollen that is capable of fertilization. In comparison, the male inflorescence of CMS maize, the pollen sacs are completely absent. Depending on environmental conditions, it may be the case that the CMS maize does form some pollen sacs indeed, and whether this pollen is capable of fertilization is the subject of the field trials. In the field trials, various hybrids of CMS maize are being considered. They've been planted immediately adjacent to conventional maize. It's easy to determine if these have been fertilized by CMS maize. The CMS maize forms yellow kernels. The conventional maize forms white kernels. If a fertilization of the conventional maize with pollen from the CMS maize occurs, one can find yellow kernels among the white ones on the ear. The number of yellow kernels indicates how much pollen from the CMS maize was able to fertilize plants producing white kernels. Project leader Heidrun Buchmann had this to say about the preliminary results of the experiment. We've determined that these three hybrids behave differently. However, we were able to determine a significant reduction in cross-pollination in comparison to conventional varieties. This reduction achieves values between 94 and 97 percent. A hybrid with a reduction rate of 97 percent may be regarded as almost sterile, and for application as a confinement method, these varieties certainly are suitable. However, if the intention is to cultivate transgenic plants containing pharmaceutical compounds, then these varieties are not suitable, since in such cases a sterility rate of 100% is necessary. In practice, genetically modified CMS maize could be planted together with roughly 20% conventional maize. Thereby, a satisfactory fertilization of the CMS maize could be ensured. Maize heirs could then develop. Such a cultivation system would have advantages in addition to the restricted spread of the newly transferred genes. On the one hand, what is known as a CMS effect would be triggered. This means that energy that normally is used in the production of pollen is transferred directly into the production of maize ears. This energy will be delivered directly by the plants after fertilization. On the other hand, a non-related pollen source is used, and the fact that they are not related leads to the enhancement of yield. In that case, one can achieve an increase in harvest in comparison to conventional varieties.